Tides and currents are renewable resources of high interest, both because its predictability and the energy density involved. In this video you will find information on the roots of the energy and a catalog of some of the solutions currently being developed. In the description below you will find links to all solutions so you can go deeper on them. At Energy Technology Sherpa, we want to bring you this channel to get acquainted in technologies and investments in the energy sector, primarily clean energy technologies. Sherpa is a key concept as we want to be the right companion for you in a journey that is difficult somehow. As a continuation of our last analysis of the wave energy technologies, we would like you to travel with us into the other major group of technologies related to the ocean energy, tides, and currents. At the end of this video, you will find a link to our previous video on the wave energy technologies. The energy related to tides and currents is of high interest because two main reasons. In one side its predictability and in the other the intensity of the resource. To understand why is so predictable is worth to dive into the mechanisms that create tides and currents. Tides are caused by astronomical forces, as the gravitational effects of the moon and the sun over the earth. The positioning of the sun and moon also influences the height of the tidal swell. During a new or full moon phase, the sun and moon are aligned producing a bigger force. This creates a higher level of tide, called the spring tides during first and last quarter moon phases. When the sun and moon are at right angles to the earth, a lower level of tide are created. These are called neap tides. The centrifugal force is also playing a role. The earth and the moon, orbiting the sun together, form a single spinning body, with a center of rotation inside the earth. All these forces are easy to calculate and so tides can be predicted. Currents do have a different mechanism. One of them is related to the salinity. The density of seawater varies from place to place, because the salt content is not the same everywhere. Water flows from the regions of higher density to regions of lower density thus producing currents. Another mechanism is the difference in temperature. As the sun's rays fall on the surface of the sea at different angles this is producing unequal heating. This generates convection currents in the sea. Finally, winds blowing on the sea surface, or the earth rotation may create currents as well. Upon the energy extraction mechanism, we have different types of tidal energy devices. Sabella is a French company that has developed a horizontal turbine solution placed in the seabed. The company was funded in 2008 and in 2015 they connected to the grid a 1 megawatt unit. In 2021 Sabella took over GE tidal energy assets broadening the portfolio of solutions. Nova Innovation is a UK company that has developed a horizontal turbine solution placed in the seabed. The company was incorporated in 2010 and in 2014 they tested the first prototype, a 30 kW solution. Currently they have developed a 100 kW unit connected to the grid in an array of three units in 2016. At this point in time, they are planning to double the units in this first array in Shetland, Scotland and they have signed an agreement to install an array of 15 units in Nova Scotia, Canada. Orbital Marine Power is a Scottish company that has developed a twin horizontal turbine solution mounted in a floating structure. The company was incorporated in 2002 as Scott Renewables Tidal Power. In 2012, a 250 kilowatts unit was connected to the grid and in 2016 they tested the commercial scale unit with a nameplate of 2 megawatts. The improved version, named O2, is currently under testing. Is a 72 meters long floating superstructure, supporting two 1 megawatt turbines on either side. The rotors span 600 squared meters, the largest ever on a tidal generator. Magallanes Renewables is a Spanish company that has developed a double horizontal turbine in a serial system and counter-rotating. The turbines are mounted in a floating structure. The company was incorporated in 2009 and in 2017 a full-scale unit with a nameplate of 2 MW started the testing at Orkney. Since then, several upgrades have been incorporated and in 2019 delivered energy to the grid. Samek Atlantis Energy is a company located in Edinburgh, Scotland, that is a developer of ocean energy projects and do have experience with different solutions. In parallel, 
they have developed their own technology and in 2011 launched the testing of the AR2000 unit with a nameplate of 2 MW. The solution is a horizontal turbine placed in the seabed and is the result of a team effort with GE. Tokardo is a Dutch company that was incorporated in 2008. The base technology was developed by ECN and Teamwork Technology BV. In 2020 the company filed for bankruptcy and was acquired by QED Naval. Tokardo has developed a horizontal turbine with ratings ranging from 50 kW to 450 kW. QED Naval has developed a submersible, gravity-based, foundation platform that supports tidal turbines under the name Subhub. HydroQuest is a French company that has developed a vertical axis turbine for river and tidal applications. The company was incorporated in Grenoble, France, in 2010. In 2013, in cooperation with EDF, a first prototype was tested in a river environment. In 2019 a unit with a nameplate of 1 MW was installed in Brittany, France. Monesto is a Swedish company that has developed a turbine in a kite system. The company was incorporated in 2007 as a spin-off from Saab. In 2018, Monesto successfully commissioned its first commercial scale system, with a nameplate of 500 kW in Holyhead Deep, Wales. In addition, they have developed a 100 kW system for distributed solutions that is being deployed in the Faroe Islands. Sea Current is a Dutch company that is in the process of developing a turbine in a kite system. The company was incorporated in 2013. After several years and various scale model tests, a full scale demonstration of the tidal kite has been launched. The Borndeep test location is set up and the grid connection to Ameland, a Dutch Wadden Island, is being executed. The system is targeting to be able to operate in very shallow waters. Eel Energy is a French company that was incorporated in 2011. The system is using an oscillating airfoil solution to extract the energy from the currents. In 2021 they have installed two prototypes in the Aquanord Canal to demonstrate no adverse effect may be expected from close distance installation. The company is claiming that a 5 MW unit is achievable. Flummel is a Norwegian company that was incorporated in 2002. The system they are developing is a double helix, Archimedes screw type, that is anchored to the seabed. Until 2012, a pilot unit was doing testing at EMEC facilities. Since then, the company has been looking for funds to support a full-scale demonstration. Tidal Lagoon Power is a company from Gloucester, England, that was incorporated in 2014. The system working principle is to capture a large volume of water behind a man-made structure which is then released to drive turbines and generate electricity. The turbine is a bi-directional, low-head, Kaplan bulb hydro turbine. The company is looking for funding to develop several projects. Previously shown solutions are not a comprehensive list of what different players are developing and bringing into the market. Nevertheless, is a representative selection of them and hopefully some of them will be successful. This will open a vast access to renewable energy that can behave more like a base load kind of energy. On the description of this video, you will find the links to all the companies and technologies we have just shown. Please give us your comments and tell us if there is a technology or company we should be considering in future updates. Thanks for watching.